All right, so viewer discretion will be advised for what I'm about to talk about and such within this video. So I'm not I'm not going to be like editing this video like crazy or anything like that. In fact, it's just going to be me editing the intro, outro, and uh, that's it. So there's not going to be no other cuts or anything like that except for those two things. <sighs> but anyways, um, we go by like the title of the video, even though this is like making me very anxious kind of talking about this and such. Thing is and such is like you already know about the title that when I was younger, like around the age of like it was between five or six, because I do remember like going to school around this time. I was essayed. I do have to kind of be careful upon how I talk about this though, because I in in a sense don't really want this video to be completely age restricted or anything like that. So yeah, I'm just gonna have to be careful upon how I talk about this. Anyways, but it happened to me around that age and such uh with a with a person as such uh, that my mother used to be friends with i never remember her name though although i do remember her by skin color but the thing is is that i remember how i was exposed to a lot of uh sexual stuff growing up and all that and the thing is I remember her taking off my clothes and such when I was younger and doing pretty much, I can't go into too much in detail without this video being like completely like just age restricted. So yeah, she will do stuff like that and like take off my clothes and do pretty much inappropriate acts and whatnot. And there was an instance I remember she even did it like in front of my siblings before as well too. But they were like really, really young. I think my sister was only three at the time. My brother Antoine was probably four or something like that. Or my sister was probably a little younger than that because I don't remember my, my brother Trayvon even being around at that time. Uh, this was back when we lived in a completely different apartment as well too. And I remember... One particular incident, incident where I was in my mother's room and she asked me this one particular phrase that they, this is something they can never get out of my mouth because she, like, again, like I said, she did some things to me and to like put it in context and such is that she, I don't, I gotta figure out how to word this. We'll say she had my hot dog in her mouth before. Not even once, not even twice, three times. There are three different occasions and such. Well, not three different. Oh, I can't get my mind together. Um, it, it happened a lot. And that's the thing. And so there was an in incident I remember. I was in my mother's room. I do I remember this, like, very strongly. It was nighttime outside and everything. My mother wasn't even home at all. I don't even remember where my siblings were at during this time. It's the only thing that's vague to me. But I remember she asked... Uh, a phrase for me to pee in her mouth. And I willy-nilly was just, you know, since I was naive as a child, I just unzipped my pants and all that kind of stuff and just pull it out. But knowing how I was just doing it without thinking much of it, because I don't know that I was wrong or anything like that, at least... Like during that time, like obviously I'm older. Obviously that stuff was bad. That had what happened to me. Uh, I remember she told me, no, 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 don't, don't, don't actually do it. Don't actually do it. Because I think there was just like the amount of guilt that she was probably feeling in our moment. Because she again, she done other things and stuff like that to me. But it's like, man, I don't, I didn't, I didn't know during that time. And it's like going through just that alone. You know that that's where like all the like the. My struggle, I know this might sound kind of weird to some people, but that's where my struggle of lust actually comes from. That's where it truly stems from. It's because of stuff like that. Because then I remember at some point when I was like seven or eight years old, I dealt with something similar on my uh, stepdad side of the family with my uh, with my uh, with my cousin as well too, where she did similar things to me as well too. So I was essayed by two different people before, and. It was just, uh, uh, it's just an experience I can, I can never forget. And the reason why I'm even talking about this stuff 
is because like at some point I know I want to come out and talk about it or whatnot, so it could just just get off my chest entirely and whatnot. And uh what else? And also just because the fact and stuff, just it's like I don't, I don't know. I, I was going somewhere with this. I I can't remember now. My mind is everywhere right now. Just just talking about that alone. But um, anyways, is is I dealt with a lot with stuff like that. But there's like more things I want to talk about and whatnot as well too. And the other thing is, it's such. And I want to like give this off as a quick little disclaimer. And whatnot. It's like for whom I'm about to mention stuff like that. They're not the same ways they used to be all those years ago. They changed a lot. Like heck, I mean, I've changed a lot as well too for what I what I used to be like as well. But it was a lot of abuse that I used to go through with growing up and such. Mostly deal with my stepdad and whatnot. But dude, like I said, keep this in mind. I'm not saying this to say this. I am saying this from my heart and my mind as well too. That he has grown and changed a lot, and I've actually seen the growth and change. That he has a lot of respect for me, and I do for him as well too. But I was always on the impression when I was younger that he always, he hated me because the type of punishments, everything I get, and such as well too. And the thing is, is such I remember he used to get beat on a lot. I used to get in trouble for every little thing that used to happen. Like yes, I was a kind of a somewhat bad kid growing up. Even though some of my family members look at it, it's like you know you weren't really bad growing up. You just had like a lot of behavioral problems and such, and which they weren't wrong. I was on medication for a lot of things. Uh, I think the most amount of medication I was taking as such as a child was at least four to five different medications for my mental disabilities and such as well, too. That's a lot of, pretty much a drug to put on a child. Well, let's be honest here. And the the, the thing is and such is that I used to get like accused for a lot of things. Uh, and even especially with things I didn't even do wrong, and I used to kept just getting just like accused of things like over and over and over again to the point I, I have a habit of saying sorry a lot. I know some people are always wondering like why do I say sorry a lot? It's a habit because of the you know dealing with those things as such growing up or whatnot. Even if the 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 incident can be minor, as in let's say uh, I don't know, uh, let's just say I accidentally took somebody's stuff in like Minecraft. Let's say they threw down a diamond, right? And I just so happened to walk by and pick it up without even noticing. They could be upset about the thing, but just mildly upset. But to say, hey, you took my diamond. I could just be apologizing about it over and over and over again. And just, just keep kind of just like doing it or whatnot. Like I remember this was even a bad habit going to school. Or I had like a specific behavioral teacher that would tell me to stop saying sorry that the fact he would even reward me if i just simply stopped saying sorry because that's how bad it was i would say sorry for nearly everything i feel like i was doing wrong because like that's kind of how you know i was pretty much conditioned to like think like and whatnot anytime anything inconvenient happens it, 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 it wouldn't even need to be my fault I'm apologizing and stuff about the situation and making it seem like it is my fault. Like the reason why this or that happened because it's my fault. Because I'm, I was used, so used to being the scapegoat to everyone's problems and such. And that's kind of the same thing when it came to like the school as well too. I used to have some teachers that used to pick on me and such as well too. I never really understood why though. Um, but there were some students as well too doing kind of like similar things. I remember being victim of being bullied a lot going through school. Uh, but honestly, I think it's just because of the way I used to look like back then and whatnot. Like, heck, I remember it's gotten even as far as it's up to the point that people were putting gum in my hair. Freaking gum. I had to get my hair, like, cut down and such just because of that alone. I couldn't even get the gum out because of how, like, stuck it was in my head. Someone chewed their gum and put it in my hair. And I had to get my hair cut and stuff because of that. But the thing is, it's like when I used to get beat on a lot, then I know my mom really hates me saying it like that, but that's how it used to be back then. Like, do, do, I do know that it's like they have changed. I do need to keep establishing that because I know my mom and like my stepdad probably not going to be happy to be talking about this type of stuff. But when I used to get those types of punishments, 
I'll be like bruised up very badly and such to the point my mother where I had to like take like you make certain special baths for me to like reduce the bruising and such so I go to school the next day with like long sleeves and such to hide the bruising so the school doesn't try to question it or anything like that and I used to have like certain cuts and stuff like that on my arm as well too from how bad I used to get hit with the belt as well too so it it didn't make anything any better but the thing is and such is like as time goes on i know this is about to surprise a few people but not a lot of people for what i'm about to say but do i'm gonna put this in context and stuff like that before i say anything these acts are nearly 10 years old now and honestly i'm not the type of person who wants to like hide or anything like that heck i don't even hide them brand pretty i'm gonna say i'm semi-open about it and I know some people might, it might disappoint some people, but there's some people, you know, they don't look at me as the way that they used to. But, you know, it's the whole, let's use the terminology that a lot of people use on the YouTube, it's the whole PDF file thing. Thing is and such is that from the age of 14 up to 17 years old, I did a lot of acts and stuff like that with people who were obviously underage and such. That's why I'm using the term PDF file. And the thing is, and such, dealing with that type of stuff, is that I, even though I don't do none of that stuff anymore, I still still hold like a lot of self-hatred against myself for those actions. And the thing is, and such, it's like, thinking about the stuff that happened to me growing up, how naive and clueless I was, and how the older person knew exactly what they were doing, you know, the damage and stuff that that caused to me growing up. It's like, now we take that particular incident and we switch the roles around for the things that I did and stuff to them. But me wording it like that, it makes it seem like I'm implying that I did, like, what's it called, like, physical interaction or anything like or something like that, which now never happened. Thing is, is that to give you guys more of the uh the story is that it started it all within the happy worst community that's where all my hatred actually came from because when i was 14 up to like 17 i got nothing but hatred from a lot of people because the messages were eventually you know shared around and such of the messages that were sent on xbox you know i got a lot of hate for it and stuff like that to the point my mother ended up finding out and then my my uh when I was going when I was going to like school as well too, my my behavior specialist found out about this as well too. Like the rejection and such I felt from a lot of people just it, it really stung. But the thing is and such, it's like breaking that habit was not even easy at all. And that and that's that's just me being honest. Like it took me to the age of seventeen and me getting with somebody else that was the the exact same age as me for that habit to completely die down. And the thing is, and such, is that um, even though, like, even though this stuff is like really, really old, I, I, I still can't forgive myself, even to this day. It doesn't matter how many years or decades and stuff like that goes by. It's that I personally cannot forgive myself for those actions and stuff like that, because it's like I know I messed with some people in such and some way, or in fact, all of them. And the thing is, and such, it's like. I clearly, when I look back at my own issue, my own situation, it's like, I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I, just, I'm, just a, I'm just dumb. That's the thing. It's like, despite me not liking those things that happened to me growing up, like me looking, looking back at that, as, like, as I got older, I'm talking about like, like 22, 23, me fully realizing and me remembering about that stuff that happened back then to me, it's like, you know, that, that, that stuff was bad. I, I really didn't like that. You know, me looking at it in a, you know, in a different lens because, you know, I'm older. I wasn't, I'm not thinking about it in the kid-like mindset. And then, like, seeing what I've done as well, too, it's just like, no, that's just dumb. And that's just something I just generally do not like. And that's the thing. And I also want to mention this as well, too. It's like the reason why I mention all this other type of stuff before even mentioning about this, it's not trying to garner sympathy or anything like that at all. I do want to point that out just right in advance and such as well, too. And heck, this is not even an apology video as well. 
and overall this entire video is just me just talking about like all the, like the different experiences and such i've been through that kind of led me to the point where i am like you know today and whatnot besides my speaker turning off so ignore that but it's like i'm just kind of talking about everything that kind of led me to the point where i am at today because it's just i know at some point and i'm gonna point this out i know at some point that someone's going to try to rain bring up my past dealing with these issues to try to spin a narrative to make it like it's something like ongoing that it's something brand new that's happening and whatnot and the thing is and such i just don't want to have to deal with all that so rather than it being other people just eventually finding out about it why don't i just talk about it as such instead and yeah, just I, I'd rather be the one who sits there and like just talks about it and stuff like the the people because I mean I am open about it to quite a bit of people, and it's like when you think about your PDF files and such like that, they're they're not gonna be open about this. So they'll try everything their power to hide it because that's what I used to do when I was younger. I tried to do everything I hide. I tried to justify it and everything. It's morally wrong. That's the thing. It's like it's just like I don't I don't understand it. I mean, looking back at it, it's like, I don't even understand why I even did none of that stuff anyways. It's like, all that matters and such is like learning from all the stupid stuff that like, you know, I did or see other people do and then just, you know, just grow from it. I don't need to sit here and announce change. Nobody needs to sit there and announce change. Change is seen by through your actions. You don't verbally say it. Even though I know verbally saying it's still an action, but it's seen without speaking, if that makes sense. Because your actions speak louder than your actual words. And that's the thing, it's like, if I can change, then, like, I know other people can, but it's like, how everything is going, and that's, I don't even know if that's even possible for some people. But, like, other than that, it's like, throughout all the experiences and such, I've been through a lot of, like, betrayal and heartbreak and all that type of stuff, it's like, I'm glad for all the experiences and such, for other things I can mention and talk about, because, that it, again, it made me who I am today. Because if I ever didn't go to the fire or not, I wouldn't be me. You know what I mean? It's like I'm pretty, like, open to such about a lot of things. I just want to be, like, out there to attempt to try to make the world a uh, better place and such. Because life is not guaranteed the next day at all. And that's why I like to, like, live in the, the mindset of being op optimistic and such. But not in a way where it feels like it's being forced upon myself. Because toxic positivity is a thing. I try to live in a way where it's like it's good for like a lot of people, including myself. So it doesn't feel like it's being draining or anything like that. Like heck, the way I act online and stuff, it's exactly how I act in real life. I'm true to who I am online and in real life as well too. But other than that, I just don't really know how else to really go about with all this type of stuff and whatnot. It's just. I don't know. Like, I guess, like, to summarize the entire video, it's like I've been through a lot of, I've done a lot of things as well, too. Not only I've been through a lot of messed up things, I've done some stupid things and such as well, too, messed up things. And the thing is, as such, is that, like, any time that someone tries to call me a, a good person and stuff like that, even through live streams or YouTube comment sections and such, I always tell people that. I wasn't always a good person. Never was. Like, I've done a lot of things. I've done things I'm just not simply proud of. Like, me trying to fit in and all that kind of stuff uh, dealing with certain friend groups because I didn't like feeling alone. But eventually, you know, as I got older or whatnot and, like, been through other things, it's like, you know, I, I, don't, I didn't care about the loneliness or anything like that at all. I started to, like, you know, try to not allow my emotions to think too much for me and learn to find a good balance between emotions and mindset. So like, I don't do stupid things based on like impulse or stuff or think too logically about something because then that makes me kind of overthink a lot. And having emotions like, you know, entwined with a lot of things is also good as well too. Cause I used to be very detached from my own emotions. So like it was really hard to express any of them because of a lot of stupid stuff, that's it. But other than that, um, again, summarize part two. All that stuff made me who I am today and such. And I hope that, like, the story I talk to other people about is, like, I hope it can, like, inspire people in some way. 
But if before I completely sign off, I know the part of the PDF file thing, it's going to be taken completely out of context. If the if this video were to garner attention as such, it will be taken out of context. I know it will. And that's something I'm just going to have to expect to happen as such as well, too. But if anybody wants to talk anything about more details based around my sexual assault and what happened to me growing up and who well, I mean who can really cares about the bullying thing and then um oh it's called the PDF file related things and such. I'm gonna leave it open and stuff for anybody who wants to know more about the information and such by either emailing or keeping the comments within the uh the YouTube thing of a jiggy. So well the YouTube comment section that that's what I meant to say. So, like, you guys can just, you know, talk about it there and whatnot. I don't want people, like, flooding into Discord server just trying to, like, specifically get my attention to talk about more about this. Because they're not allegations or anything like that. It's not like someone's allegedly, you know, accusing me. I'm coming out saying this stuff myself, so it's not even allegations. Like, heck, nobody even made an allegation against me at all. It's just, I just hate myself so much, even though even all this time that goes by, I still can't forgive myself. I have a problem forgiving myself. It's a big issue. But, yeah. Um, I do really need to summarize this. I'm sorry, I keep saying I'm going to summarize everything. I just keep, like, blabbering on and on and on. But it's like, I, I just, I don't know. I, I just, I'm just sorry. That's it. Like, again guys want to talk about anything revolving around this i'm open to anybody wanting to, to know more information regarding the topic and whatnot but that's only if you guys really want to know because it's like i got everything out there and such that i think that talk uh, talks about all the main points and such but yeah like don't please don't flood the discord and such asking about all these different questions and whatnot like again if you guys want to just Go by the methods I mentioned and whatnot. I just don't want my anxiety being like spiked up and whatnot where I can't like focus like on in, in everyday life related things and such like that. And you know, that's a <sighs> sorry. Um, all this went on for a very long time. The huffs and puffs just makes us feel very generic. Seems like an apology video, but again, it's not. It's just me just wanting to talk about a lot of things and such that's just been like bothering me for a while now. Even all these things are like literally years old. Like I'm 25 now. Like that that that's baffling. Like we're getting closer and closer for this stuff to being like again like nearly a decade old. We're talking about six plus years old. If you anybody want to know like more precise numbers. But yeah. Anyways, this is light here. This is just my me talking about everything I've been through and whatnot and how I became who I am today. 30% of it at least because I mean if I talk about other things and whatnot nothing controversial if I talk about other things it'll, it'll explain how how I shaped myself to who I am today but anyways I'm gonna sign off hope you guys are actually having a good day and stuff like that I'm just gonna just find some more things to do and just to keep entertaining you guys see you guys next time